okay welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe please subscribe that will encourage me to produce more content all right so <clears throat> kind of what we left off We're supposed to paint density map for density marks for this so let me see if i can do some minor explanation in here so if you notice this beard properly, you notice that you can see there is more. Can I take a screenshot of this? Let's see. Take a screenshot of this. Now before I do that, before I do, let me just let's get this kind of facing the same angle. <clears throat> the same angle. So uh So if I should take a screenshot of the two of this now, <clears throat> can I draw over this? Okay. Okay. So, so basically, if notice in here now, you can you see, you can see there's there's more thickness of beard on this region like this. Can see a very high intensity of or more dense hair around here, but can I change the color of this? Okay. But in this other but in this other region, you can see here is there, but it's kind of not as dense as the one in here. So you can see like almost like 50 percent density of air around here compared to these parts if this is 100 percent if this is 100 percent yeah we should be having like 50 percent air generation in here so we're going to try try to recreate the same thing so that means more or less this region like so now let me do that properly so more or less this region should have 50 percent 50 percent air around the ay on this other parts like so so in this part should be having 100 percent density of air around these parts then we can blow then this this part where it connects to themselves we'll just use the blow feature to just blow all these parts out so that's basically my thought process for tackling this <clears throat> so let's get right to it let's get right to it so yeah yeah already so we're just going to go in here create map so this is the beard and put this to 50. okay uh okay uh we have the beard let me name this to new beard new underscore beard underscore the e n s underscore max so she start we're starting with full black so creates all right so let me put this here like to Okay, I would like to get wireframe on shaded in here. Hide all of this. Take a closer view in here. Open this up. We want to be using this solid brush for this. Then we are painting full white. And we need this to have turn on, turn on reflection for this. So we can have this paint at the other side too. But I like to get a smaller brush size. 
a smaller brush size to this something like so just to map out the regions first i think i'm going to use okay so you also want to kind of go probably as fast as you can to stop here for now and figure out what next okay okay yeah so around this should be fine then we know that we can now go over this like so okay Let's spin this properly. All right, so it's a good, it's a good base. So it's just to extend the increase the brush size some more. Maybe something like this. Okay. I think we need to increase the brush size a bit more in here. Okay. Sometimes don't really need necessarily need to be extremely perfect. Just so something like this should work. Increase the brush size again now. Okay. All right, something pretty much like this should be fine. At least for now. For now. So let's save this. So I will save this. Can see how we have has been generated there now. So maybe maybe I might not even fifty percent for this other part. I might even use something like maybe even thirty percent. So I'll come in here. Let's okay. I will assign texture. Let's increase this. Sign texture. Save texture. Then let's use. 30% should be somewhere around here. This should be 50%, so 30% should be somewhere around here. Let's use here. Okay, so I would like to, I won't do that from this part though. I'd like to do this from somewhere around here. So somewhere around here. So somewhere around here should I can't even see anything happening. I think we would need to probably towards that fifty percent mark instead. Yeah, fifty percent mark seems to be a good one. Okay, probably blow out the edge. Something pretty much like this. Okay, I would increase that, but I won't go all the way to the highest, but maybe somewhere around 80 percent. Somewhere around 80 percent. Let's increase the process some more. Paint this part. You don't need to be extremely precise, though. You can go, you can even go a bit rough and dead in there.
okay something like this let's save this texture again save all right so control s so let's turn off this wireframe on shaded uh, i think this region we need to fix so let's go back in here please don't crash please don't come on come on Great, that is just that is just great. Okay, so back again. So let's modify this solid brush painting full black on this. So I want to use oh crap. I need to have reflection turned on. So I'm painting full black around the air. Okay, and then we also want to we want to blow also. Let's blow this so okay. Just increase the brush up a bit more, slightly like so. Let's blow this out. Increase the brush up a bit more. Blow the edge. Okay. Okay. Save this. Yeah, I think this should work. This should work. Okay. So let's increase the density for this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see what we have inside this very quick save. We we'll definitely need some hairs around here. Let's turn this back on. Spent hairs around here. Save. Okay. Okay, let me turn this off. So now let's play with this. Let's play some more with this. Let's start with the clumping. Let's start with the clumping. So we'll go to mod. Okay, I already have the settings here already. Let me do a quick save. So we can use the clumping modifiers now. So I would like to use. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's use. 
let's use the clone pin for the front center coil air so center coil air so let's start with the clone pin one center coil at air clone pin one what is this why is not applying That's strange. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, just want to apply what is in a group. So let's save this. Let's come back here. I think we can't we can't have them in here, unfortunately. So let's copy all of this. X no, no, better. Let me just do copy instead. I'll paste them here. Paste them outside. So let's go back here. Let's try this again. Okay, I think this time around, we might need to restart this. Let's open up the file again. Okay, so let's go back in there. Modifiers. Okay, we have them here now. So, Abinos, Bino, Center Coil, Ed, Clumping One. Perfect. It's in here now. Okay, so let's just come in here, set up map. Uh, Feel like we should have spread. Looks like they have the same intensity down here. Anyways, uh, okay, okay, generates save. Nah, I don't think. I don't think this is a complaint we need. But you can see how it just applies to it quickly without so much effort. So let me delete this. Let's use the back. Let's use the side air. This is the side air instead company. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I've been a bit of it. Okay, yes, it's here. Side air clumping one. Generates save. Okay, it's a good start. Let's go to the next one. You can see how this makes our workflow a bit faster. So I've been inside at a clump O2. Set up. Um Generates save. Okay. But I think we need to clean up this edge on the lower part even more. It's too much down here. It's just way too much down there. Okay. To clean that up later, let's just and if it's save first. Mm. Mm, I believe now we can we can use the coil now. I think the coil for this center coil at a uh, let's use the coil low one first. Mm. This is This is somewhat weird. We are having some really weird results in here. This is some really weird result happening in here. Let's say we take this down to zero point two.
Strike five. We're getting something in there. But we need we need a bit more tweaking in here. Let's try four instead. Uh, this is not coming out the way we want it to. I guess we need to do a lot of corrections in here. Oh, oh, oh. This is where the problem is. So we need to get this. Let's get this to uh, 150. We should have more definition in here now. Let's update this again. Let me update this also. Okay, you're getting something interesting, so it's coming here. As much as I would like to keep keep this, it looks, it looks a bit weird. Hmm. Okay. Just bending this way too much. Let's try something. Let's see what it is. Too much though. Though I kind of like kind of like the effect, but this is just way too much. So probably put some randomizer in there. Uh from Let's go three to five. <clears throat> now that's more like it. That's more like it. Okay, but we need to get. We need to kind of randomize this a bit more. I mean, we need to randomize this, randomize this max. So, uh, let's copy this, paste this in here. Okay. Nah, too much. Let's do zero point one to zero point four to zero point maybe even three. Let's try. Nope, you can't even see. Now nah, let's let's increase. Let's try seeing. Okay, this looks like something we can definitely keep. Yeah, I think I can keep this. The only part I'm skeptical about is this lower part. This, this lower part. The lower part for this. Okay, um, okay let's drop some noise in here. Which noise should we use? Okay, let's use... Let's use the noise for the center coil. Uh, use noise for the center coil. It's an even as clumping three. Nah. So I would um 
a, a, okay, let's try this noise one okay Uh, let me zoom in and see the details in there. Hello, one. Let me excuse me, one. Let me see if there's something we can do in here. I'm just looking at this count. I'm looking at this count. Okay, let's try one here. Let's try one to five. Okay, now there's a gap. You can see there's a gap in between them now. So it's going to randomize this with a wider gap from one to five. So which is which which is kind of better. Now everything does not look entirely the same anymore. So this is this is this is good enough. We're kind of spreading it out. So we have gaps in between, which is what we have right now, which is looking nice. But we need to reduce the intensity of it around here. Um, let me save this first. But I want to, I want to use this noise to break this, <clears throat> break this up even more. Even more with this noise. Oh, okay. Uh, let's try using normal default, no, default noise in here. Let's see what we have. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, <clears throat> this, is <clears throat> this is definitely breaking up this even more. Can I randomize this? Okay. Uh, let's go from zero point one instead. Okay. <clears throat> it has some coil to this and some broken up shape to it also, which is cool. Okay, I have to try something though. I don't know if this will ruin, ruin this or, or not, but it's kind of worth trying. Let's save this. So let's just add a cut here. Uh, let's use this. Let's use the cut from the center coil. Uh, cut. This makes it a bit too scanty though. Let's use this. Okay. Maybe instead of let me go to the guides. Let me actually take this make this guides a little smaller. Let's do this from the side view instead. Select all of this guide. Scale them down. Let's select this also. Let's select this. Scale them in some more. This. Uh -huh, yeah, much better, much better. Okay, I guess scaling this in was what we needed. Maybe in a bit more. Okay. So that gives me another idea also which we can use also in here we can select 
think you can select from here select this this scale this down some more like so <clears throat> so yes so this will give us is a better transition around here maybe even maybe even grab this alongside scale this in okay then i'll select this all of this and this we want to scale them in a bit more like that transition in between just to have a transition in between so from longer as from, sh from shorter as to a bit of a longer longer as okay so we can hide this now now we we'll get I think we have a better yes you can see how we have some randomized unkept looking as around the beard which is precisely what we want still having some coils to it which is precisely what we want so we're not we're not really going for something really clean in here go for something rough okay maybe for the coil we can do this or the radio, radio scale for this Let's try. Let me put this instead of one. Let's put zero point seven instead. Okay. Let's just little little changes to this. Let's bring this up some more. Maybe I'll go primitive here and increase the length to one point five. Let's try 1.5 in here. Okay. Okay. I don't want to increase all the way up too much though. I think something like it should be fine. If we render this and it's not looking like it, we can always go back and make corrections to it but this should be fine for now if i should go in now you can see some interesting shape to it got some interesting shape to it okay so i just had that's just how you use modifiers in here to get more interesting result out of this let me turn on this afro head uh, that looks everything together. Okay. Think. Scalp, scalp, scalp. Let's bring everything out. Fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is really good. So walk. Yeah, this is a, this is a good one. This will definitely work. This will definitely work. All right, looking good. So pretty much the last thing to do is to create some mustache for this guy. Let's get some. Let's get some mustache going for this. Do a quick save. Let's see the other. Let's add this. Let's see the other. Uh, editing. Let's add this blends with this okay let's 
You know the funny thing is that we have already created another hairstyle in here. Let me uh, just if you're going for a more bold, if you're going for a more bold looking guy, this will work perfectly. This will work just fine. So already creating, we're creating a bold guy like this. We can, um, we can have this as a bold looking guy. This will still work. Okay, so uh, maybe we can have a render of this later on, probably. So now the last thing we should do now is to create some mustache for this, and then we are done. Then we can jump into look development and then begin to get something good out of this. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.